It's just an exciting time to be a part of this revolution that could impact cancer care moving forward. I definitely see we're in a great timing right now I mean, for the whole theranostic to flourish. Moving forward, this could expand into so many other malignancies and benign disorders, um, whether that's breast cancer, colon cancer, lung cancer, endometriosis, PTSD, uh, and, and so forth. That is one thing which we have to lay emphasis on, is to have a robust clinical trials and clinical studies platform in order to have that development of novel tracers, novel indications, as well as uh, to identify the unmet needs where this kind of a treatment does not exist or no treatment really exists. The thing surprised most of the doctors about theranostics is how powerful it is. We have several patients that end up after one or two treatments, maybe three or four treatments, that we no longer see a target. That's what a theranostic can do. But uh, what do we need to do right now is number one, make a theranostic available to the patients and also figure out how can we combine other novel therapies with theranostics to enhance the result and also prolong the result. As you can see in this particular slide, the beta emitters can... We have to expand the number of indications in which this particular concept can be applied because frankly, there's an unmet need beyond prostate cancer and neuroendocrine tumors. People like us in healthcare, either in the business field or in the front line saving patients, we should be focused and determined every single day to bring the best care, to bring the best technology to the patients, no matter what, no matter what it costs. The way to enable Theranostics is to challenge yourself to, to what really needs to be done and, and don't be short-sighted with that vision, right? Try to make a decision that will enable 15 years from now and what that needs to look like. This is going to really scale up in, in the coming years. Having the radio pharmacy as a part of our institution is essential. The radio pharmacy model that we have here is obviously you know, purpose built to meet the needs of the clinic next door and to enable the Theranostics within this platform. It opens up just endless possibilities, whether that's an ultra short half-life diagnostic or therapeutic tracer. Um, that means reducing cost to the healthcare system, to the patients, to the institution. You have short-lived tracers, it has a half-life of just a couple of minutes. If you do not have a radio pharmacy at your site, you won't be able to do these kind of imaging, which are very high-end, which can have a considerable impact on planning. I foresee not only in like a, the theoranostic field will have a big boom because of the possible result to the patients, but it will no doubt inevitably lead to actually form its own expertise. You need to rapidly have educational sessions to spread the education amongst other clinicians as well as the healthcare industry in general. I think in order to have others kind of have that buy-in or, or want that collaboration, I think it's really reaching out and being a part of a comprehensive medical team. We need a new type of doctors. We need a brand new program for technologists, the chemists, the physicists, the engineers, and to get into this field. And we also need to have a comprehensive graduated program to teach people to develop more drugs, to develop more technology, so we can get a, tackle more disease using these infrastructures we have. Theranostics is going to continue to evolve and the approach is going to just become more personalized as further therapies outside of it continue to evolve as well. And that includes potentially vaccine-based cancer therapies, gene or genome uh, type therapies as well. The next big thing in Theranostics would be to offer the patients an alpha emitter targeted radionuclide therapy, which helps to break this resistance. The spirit of Theranos field is collaboration is a multidisciplinary, and that's our mindset. It's just continuing to ask uh, creative questions and making changes to what's known uh, to see if we can do better than we are. That's gonna be what can take us into the future and impact more lives moving forward.